thousands of Metro Atlanta firefighters have 16 men to thank for their jobs today. 50 years ago, today, those 16 brave men broke the color barrier in Atlanta's fire department. And one of them made history a second time just six months later. Station number 16 in Northwest Atlanta is a typical fire station right now, but it was not 50 years ago. April 1st, 1963, the first 16 African-American firefighters joined the Atlanta Fire Department at Station 16. Because from 1889, I'm told, until 1962, a black man couldn't apply to be a firefighter in the city. William Callier was one of the original 16, as they're called. City Councilman Michael Julian Bond held this ceremony, honoring that heroic day 50 years ago. Six of those 16 stood to be recognized by Mayor Kasim Reed. I came because I wanted to look you all in the eye personally. As a person who benefited from the hardships that you all went through. For Callier, breaking the department color barrier with an all-black Station 16 was just the start. When we were all here, it was, it was nice. We knew if we went to another station, we have a lot we have to fight. So he and four others volunteered to move to Station 6, the first truly integrated Atlanta fire station. We met some discrimination, blatant discrimination. We were told this is a white man job, this is not a job. But we knew we had to succeed at it. They succeeded, and 14 years later, Liz Summers and six other black women broke the gender barrier. I left a legacy for one thing. I paved the way for the other women and, not, and other minorities, not just women, other minorities to come on this job. She paved the way for her son, who is now a captain with the fire department. It was history, and it broke barriers, as, as, as they said, not only for the uh, black male officers, but for also the female officers that we have on the job today. And get this, William Collier still volunteers every week at station number six.